Global warming has caused the ocean's temperature to increase, but even the smallest temperature change can be the difference between life and death. Climate change began in the early 1800s when the industrial age first started. Steam engines were being invented that released poisonous carbon dioxide into the air. Humans started to burn and then release the first amounts of fossil fuels into the atmosphere. Fossil fuels most commonly come from the burning of coal or gas and are extremely harmful. These were some of the first greenhouse gases. We continue to release these toxic fumes with cars, factories, and trains. Something called the greenhouse effect can help explain how climate change works. What happens is, the sun shines onto the earth through the gas layer of the atmosphere. The heat from the sun is partly absorbed and partly reflected back to outer space. Small particles in the air ensure that some of that heat gets pushed back to earth and warms our planet. Because of the toxic gases, this process is being intensified, sending hotter air back to Earth and causing longer droughts and bigger storms. Bill Nye says that one of the biggest victims of climate change is our oceans. Ocean temperature has increased by 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit since 1969 and continues to increase. A change in ocean temperature can lead to the extinction of multiple species of aquatic life. At this time, plastic is the ocean's number one enemy. Plastic is the most common item found washed up on beaches and can be easily consumed by birds, turtles, and other sea life. There are now 663 species of aquatic life affected by plastic pollution. Plastic takes years to break down, so it stays floating in our oceans for a long time. Studies estimate that there are now 15 to 51 trillion pieces of plastic in all five of the Earth's oceans. This includes the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a huge gyre that lies between California and Hawaii. Because of its currents, it collects trash from all over and sends it to one spot. To really make a change, we need global cooperation, including coastal cleanups and doing your part to keep our oceans clean. On April 22nd, Los Angeles takes a big step in the right direction as a new law takes place that bans sit-down restaurants and fast food chains from giving out plastic straws. The new law states that customers now have to ask for one, but not using one at all is 10 times better for our environment. Straws never biodegrade and take hundreds of years to break down. They are extremely dangerous to aquatic life and can be easily consumed by the different species that live there. You should also try investing in a reusable water bottle instead of using a plastic one. Around 90% of water bottles end up decomposing in landfills instead of being recycled.
let's all be more mindful of the plastic we are using. I hope that together we can slow down climate change and reduce plastic pollution.